exploration. Now, to do this today, we have a really cool book called Moustache that we're going to use to help us with our pitch exploration, right? Can you echo me? Say, I can echo. Look at his huge mustache here. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. All right, are you ready? This is moose. Oh, look at this one. It's all over the place. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. All right, this tea has a lot of hair. You try. Fabulous. Whoa, it's kind of uncontrolled right here. We're gonna be doing this one right here. Oh my goodness. Look at where his hair is going everywhere. Your turn. Nice job. What is Zara gonna look like next? This time he braided it. Have you ever braided your hair? I do sometimes. My hair's gotten really long. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Your turn. All right, let's see what else. Oh, now he's starting to get some help with his hair, with some product. Have you ever put product in your hair? I definitely put product in my hair today. See how it's nice and straight? All right, let's see. Here we go. Nice job. And this is what the back cover looks like. Are you ready to follow this one? Let's make sure you can see. All right. Now, if this book looked interesting, then at the very end of this video, there will be, um, I will read this book so you can hear the whole book. Now your challenge yourself is to take your hair and create your own. Thing, can you do my hair? Ooh, let's do something different. Ready, go. Nice job. Let's see, what else can I do with my hair right now? Um, oh, I see. Ready, go. Hello. Some of you sent videos of your vocal exploration with your toys. And I have three friends from Mullen Hall who are going to um, show us their toys. We have Brooklyn and Max and Sam. So please echo after them. Say, I can echo. Department. I'm getting ready to go on an adventure and I need to make my knapsack. So I've got my bandana here all spread out 
and I picked some very important items that I need to bring on my adventure because if you're going on a long adventure you need things to help keep you safe and well this guy he really makes me feel safe he's just so cute he makes me feel safe and I gotta have something to do right so I brought my pac-man toy it's like the arcade pac-man and a little tiny thing and I might then this oh you know, probably should have brought a toothbrush and some food, but I think these items will be perfect, and I'll be so safe. So I'm going to make my knapsack. So I'm going to pull two corners up and make a knot and then another knot. And then I'm going to pull the other two corners up and make a knot and another knot. And then I can take my stick a nice big stick here. And I'm going to put it through and put it through both sections of my naps of my bandana. And I have a knapsack. Look at that. So for my next song, we need a knapsack. And we need a horse. You'll see her penny in just a minute. The chorus, the part of the song that keeps coming back. We all sing together. That part, you do not echo. We sing together. And it goes like that, this. My knapsack, my pony, and me. Let's do that one more time. My knapsack, my pony, and me. Great job. Let's try one more time. Can you sing with me? My knapsack, my pony, and me. All right, I think you're ready for the song. All right, this is an echo song. Say, I can echo. The title is Purple Light. Don't forget the chorus that I taught you. My purple light in the canyon. That's where I long to be with my three good companions. My knapsack, my pony, and me. Whipper Will in the willer sings a song, a melody, with my three good companions, my knapsack, my pony, and me, gonna hang my sombrero from the limb of a tree, or my three companions my knapsack my pony and me no more cows to be roping no more strays shall I see just my three good companions my knapsack, my pony, and me. This is an echo song. Say, I can echo. One of these days, look up and see a wise old owl sitting in a tree. He'll look at you and he'll look at me those two big eyes they don't scare me one of these nights when raindrops fall he'll give a hoot he'll give a call
sent me a video of a song that, go, that might help me. Let's see, maybe if Addison sings the song, she'll magically make the key appear. All right, let's try it. Addison, can you sing the song? My closet key in my lady's garden. Help me find my closet key in my lady's garden. Oh, Addison, thank you so much for singing the song. I I'm still don't see it. Wait, you see it? Where is it? It's, 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 it's in the garden? But I don't see it. Maybe if I sing while I look, I'll be able to find it. I have lost my closet key. In my lady's garden, oh, we find my closet key. In my lady's garden, I still don't see it. You do? Where is it? Can you help me? Can you can you point? Um, okay. one more time. Maybe this time it'll work. I have lost my closet key. In my lady's garden, help me find my closet key. In my lady's garden. Thank you. Hi, we're going to sing the song called Grandma Grunts. Sometimes people say silly things, and sometimes they really mean it, and sometimes they're just being silly. And this song is silly. So, hello, friends. So, I have um, not a real baby here. This is an American Girl doll all wrapped up. But this is a lullaby. And a lullaby is a song that we sing to babies or children or anybody who needs help falling asleep. Your parents might sing you a lullaby at night, or maybe your grandparents, or maybe your brother or your sister, but this lullaby goes like this. And while you're listening, could you see if you can figure out my baby's name? Show, sheen, show, baby boy, father's pride, mother's joy. Did you figure out the name? Not sure? Let's listen again. Really listen for that name. Show, sheen, show, baby boy, father's pride, mother's joy. Did you hear show, sheen, show? It's a very unusual name, but very pretty. Now, is my baby a boy or a girl? This might be a little confusing. Listen to the song. Show, sheen, show, baby boy, father's pride, mother's joy. Well, in the song, I said baby boy, but I'm holding a girl doll. So I'm going to change it to a girl, and I have to change two words because this song rhymes. So I'm going to say that the girl, and then my rhyming word is going to be pearl. Show, sheen, show, baby girl. Father's pride, mother's pearl. Now, can you listen to the boy version again and tell me what the rhyming word was? Show, sheen, show, baby boy. Father's pride, mother's joy. Did you hear boy and joy? Wonderful. Please, if you know Grandma Grunts, you may sing along. If not, please listen. Grandma Grunt said a curious thing. Girls must whistle, but boys must sing. That is what I heard her say. Twas no longer than yesterday. Girls must whistle. <whistles> boys must sing. Ja la 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 la. Grandma Grunt said a curious thing. Boys must whistle, but girls must sing. That is what I heard her say. Twas no longer than yesterday. Boys must whistle. <whistles> girls must sing. Tra la 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 la. Grandma Grunt said a curious thing. L must whistle, but Big Bird must sing. That is what I heard her say. Twas no longer than yesterday. Elbow must whistle. <whistles> Big Bird must sing. Tra la 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 la. Wait a minute. I'm not Big Bird. I'm Elmo. Who's supposed to sing? I don't know. 
right, friends, this is the song Grandma's Glasses. Are you ready? These are Grandma's glasses, and this is Grandma's hat. And this is the way she folds her hands and puts them in her lap. These are Grandpa's glasses, and this is Grandpa's hat. And this is the way he folds his arms, just like that. All right, let's do it one more time. It is my friends at Mullen Hall's favorite song. Are you ready? These are Grandma's glasses, and this is Grandma's hat. And this is the way she folds her hands and puts them in her lap. These are Grandpa's glasses, and this is Grandpa's hat. And this is the way he folds his arms, just like that. Hi, I have my friend Eva, who sent a video of her singing Johnny Works with one hand. So I'm going to put on my headphones so that we can listen to her and I, we can sing the song together. So please join Eva and I in singing Johnny Works with One Hammer. Johnny works with one hammer, one hammer, one hammer. Johnny works with one hammer, now he works with two. Johnny works with two hammers, two hammers, two hammers. Johnny works with two hammers, now he works with three. Johnny works with three hammers, three hammers, three hammers. Johnny works with three hammers, now he works with four. Johnny works with four hammers, four hammers, four hammers. Johnny works with four hammers, now he works with five. Johnny works with five hammers, five hammers, five hammers. Johnny works with five hammers, now he works with six. Johnny works with six hammers, six hammers, six hammers. Johnny works with six hammers, now he goes to sleep. Hey everybody. So um, I have a whole bunch of toys out in front of me. There's a song called Apple Tree that at Mullen Hall we play a circle game with, with all of us playing, but um, we're not all together. So I have some of my friends here. I've got Spaceship woo, woo, and Forky. I love Forky. Um, this is not a Barbie doll. I think it's Elena in a pretty green dress. And we have Parrot and Thomas. So. Um, and they're going to help me play the game. And this is going to be my apple. Which um, So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the steady beat by going along our friends and singing the song. If you know the song, please sing along. Let's see who gets out first. All right. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apple fall on me? I won't cry and I won't shout. If your apple knocks me out. Oh, I'm so sorry, Parrot. You're all gone. Bye-bye. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apple fall on me? I won't cry and I won't shout if your apple knocks me out. <laughs> Let's get our circle coming together a little bit here. All right. <clears throat> apple tree, apple tree, will your apple fall on me? I won't cry and I won't shout if your apple knocks me out. Ah, sorry, Elena. You're such a pretty green dress too. Bye. Oh, it's down to Forky and Thomas. Who do you think's gonna win? Is it gonna be Forky or Thomas? Doo -doo. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apple fall on me? I won't cry and I won't shout if your apple knocks me out. Oh, sorry, Forky. Bye. I'm gonna go to the trash now. Trash. And Thomas is the winner. Woo, woo, woo. Hello, friends. I'm here in my flower garden, and I have a song that um, talks about doing things in your garden. So um, it's a keeping the beat song. So can you pretend that you're picking weeds in your garden? Do, do, pity my case. In my lady's garden, I have to pick 
the weeds in my lady's garden. Three, four, four. Do do pity my case. In my lady's garden, I have to weed the garden. In my lady's garden. I've been working on digging a hole to make a vegetable garden. So can you take your shovel? We're gonna go dig, row, dig, row. Do do pity my case. In my lady's garden, I have to dig the hole. In my lady's garden. And I one. Two, three, four. Do do pity my case. In my lady's garden, I have to dig the hole. In my lady's garden. Now the thing about this song is sometimes the things, the chores that we have to do around our house, are not in a garden. But we still say in my lady's garden in the song because that's how the song goes. So maybe you have to fold your clothes. Can you help me fold the clothes? We're gonna go like this. Do do pity my case in my lady's garden. I have to fold my clothes in my lady's garden. Do do pity my case in my lady's garden. I have to fold the laundry in my lady's garden. Another, I bet maybe you have to sweep the floor. Can you hold your broom? Can you pretend to sweep the floor? Do do pity my case in my lady's garden. I have to sweep the floor on my lady's garden. Do do pity my case in my lady's garden. I have to sweep the floor in my lady's garden. Allison. We have an exciting announcement. We're going to have a talent show. Now, of course, the talent show is not going to be on the stage, but it is going to be virtual, and we're going to create a video. So if you look on the screen, you will see the directions to go to Flipgrid and record your talent. It doesn't have to be musical. It can be anything you want. Maybe you are an amazing juggler. You do whatever you love doing and, put it in, and make a video on Flipgrid for us to put on our talent show. Your deadline is June 10th. That means you have to go to Flipgrid, make your video by June 10th. And we need your parents to email us to let us know that it's okay for your video to be used in the talent show because it will be put on YouTube. That's right. It will be put on YouTube. Are you ready for the talent show? Moustache. I promised you that if you came to the end of the video, that we would read this book that we used for our vocal exploration. So here it is, Moustache, by Margie Palatini, illustrated by Henry Cole. Moose had a problem, a horrible, hairy, prickly problem. It grew right below his nostrils and just above his upper lip. A moustache. Now, not a few spare hairs or shy little stubble. No mere weak wandering whiskers on the upper lip of this moose. No siree. Moose had a big, bushy, bristly, mighty moustache. But a moustache that was a burly, surly, mangy mess, and it itched a lot. So, sure, he plucked and he tweezed, he even clipped, snipped, and teased. But his combs were still cowards, and his brushes rebelled. His scissors simply surrendered. He was a wonderful chef, but he simply could not flambe his souffle with all those whiskers in the way and he was a daring skier, but how could he downhill race with the mighty moustache blowing in his face? Moose had to do something, and soon, but what? After days and days of much serious thought, Moose got an idea. He crossed some hair here, he crossed some hair there, and he tied his moustache 
around his neck. A moose scarf. Seemed to be the ideal answer to his problem. It was so simple, so easy, so perfectly perfect. What do you think of his moose scarf? I bet it keeps him warm. But then his moustache got knotted and mangled and horribly tangled, and those hundreds of hairs still prickled and tickled. Worse, Moose could barely take a breath with all that moustache wrapped around his neck. So Moose untied, unwrapped, unknotted, and ah! gulped in some fresh air. Ah! Oh. He got another idea. He parted some hair this way, he parted some hair that way, and he heaped all the moustache on top of his head. Moustachioed antlers seemed to be the ideal answer to his problem. It was so simple, so easy, so perfectly perfect. Until a squadron of squirrels and one very nosy golf gopher moved right in to the moose motel. They huddled and hoarded, furrowed in, burrowed out. Needless to say, it became quite crowded up there on Moose's head and heavy and messy. Check that out. And very, very noisy. The squirreling, chitting and chatting, squeals and squawks woke Moose every morning before the crack of dawn and that gopher was giving the moose one hairy headache. Moose needed his sleep. He needed his rest. He needed his privacy. Mustachioed antlers, nuts, said Moose. So he unparted and unpiled, untwisted and untwied, and said adios to the hairy horns. But now what? 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 The miserable moose took hold of a hunk of hair and he wrestled it. Aha! A moose tail! Now that was so simple. That was so easy. That was not so perfectly perfect. Talk about a dizzy do. Moose didn't know if he was coming or going. Backward, forward, this way, that. He didn't know which end was which. Moose had to bail on the tail. And he, so he thought and thought and thought some more, but no other idea was a worthy winner. Braids were a bother. A moustache sweater? Too sweltering. Net? Not. Poor Moose. His problem was truly terrible, unbearable, just downright sad. He felt so alone, he didn't know what else to do. Then, call it fate, call it destiny, it was probably Dumbluck. But one day, Moose tripped on his moustache and just had no time to duck. Oof! Pardon me, pardon me, they both said as they bumped. Then they blinked, and they stared, and their hearts went thumpa thumpa. She was a moose, with a bouffant so bodaciously outrageous. Well, it was just plain old big. Hair after hair piled higher than high, a skyscraping dew of glorious curls, a tower of swirling twists and twirls. She was simply splendid, stupendous, absolutely superb. Of course, Moose had to ask how she did what she did to get such a do. Miss Moose winked and then whispered, just a little glue. So she helped her, he fearlessly plunge a hoof into a fat pot of the white gooey goop, and carefully, oh so carefully, they glopped and they plopped. They pasted and they pressed. They coaxed and curled every truly unruly wayward whisker. 
Around and around they tweaked and twirled those horrible hairs until Moose's once mangy mess was now a wondrous winding wave of marvelous moustache. Moose gazed in the mirror and smiled a broad moosey smile. He was so happy, so glad, just giddy with glee. He looked dashing and handsome. Moose gushed, is that really me? With not a care for one hair, the moose pair boogied and bopped. They skied downhill, even uphill, and their cooking was hot, hot, hot. So of course it wasn't long after that moose and his moustache and his beautiful bride, Fox trotted and tangoed and wassle, wa waltzed down the aisle. Good hair days, bad hair days. They vowed to love and to cherish, and with hearts heaped with love and pots filled with goop, they both said, I do glue, and promised never to part. It was so simple, so easy, so perfectly perfect, and it stuck. Now please, don't you put glue in your hair. There's plenty of products that I'm sure mom might have, but no glue in your hair. Have a wonderful day and get outside.